Hi there. Now for this part of the question, we're given that the circle C has the equation x squared plus y squared plus 8y minus 24 equals 0. And what we've got to do is find the center of the circle and the radius. Now there's several ways that you can do this, but uh, I find the easiest way is just to fall back on the form of the circle, being this form, x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals r squared, where the center has coordinates x1, y1, and the radius is r. And so to get this into this form, what I've got to do is complete the square. When it comes to the x squared term here, really I haven't got much to do. I could just leave it as x squared, but I'm going to actually write x minus 0 here, all squared. Same as x squared, obviously, but at least it has this format. When it comes to writing the y parts here in this form, what I do is I complete the square across these two. And we have an open bracket squared, we put a y at the front here, and then remember when it comes to completing the square, you halve the coefficient of y. It's 8 at the moment, so you halve it and you get 4. So that when you square this out, you'll get y squared, you'll get 4y times another 4y, which is the 8y, but you'll also collect 4 squared, which is 16. We don't want 16, it's not here, so by subtracting it, I now have got, across these two terms, just y squared plus 8y. And then I put in the minus 24, and that will equal the 0. And so, rearranging this, we'll just put x minus 0 all squared, plus y plus 4 all squared. If I add 16 and 24 to both sides, I get 40. And so it's now in this form, so I can read off that the center of the circle, just put that in, center will have coordinates 0 and minus 4. As for the radius, well, the radius is equal to the square root of r squared. r squared is 40, so it's going to be the square root of 40. It won't be plus or minus because obviously radius is a length. Now, the answer can be left like this as root 40, or you might want to split it up further. Root of 40 can be thought of as the square root of 4 times 10, so that becomes the root of 4, which is 2. As for the root of 10, can't break that down any further, so just leave it as 2 root 10. So it's up to you whether you carry on and do that step. Okay?